is caught at the seven. Jackson's and the Ravens are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. 11 yards there, just like last play. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert it. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Trey Waynes. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Intended for Marquise Brown. Incomplete. To throw again. Jackson looking left side. Andrews with the complaint. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The Ravens on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball, because all you're ever... And look at this, it's a fake. And this is going to blow up in their faces. Not only do they not get the first, they're going to lose. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their time. All right, the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It's a gain of 34. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially, they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great, let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit pay dirt. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. They give him a gain of 38. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions, they're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other. And, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Able to get there and pick it. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the eight yard line. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. That's so we, okay, well, so much for the halftime report here. Can't, guy can't even finish his Snickers. We're gonna get right to the third quarter.
Jackson on first down. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Jackson's pass. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You gotta love the catch. Yards. I think you gotta love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing, but I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of A good pick yards. up there, 26 and yards. The first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And Jackson throwing once more. Well, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And ten. It is caught inside the five. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Vince Beagle coming in hard that time on the blitz, and he gets him down. It's a loss of four. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. And that is caught, and the record is his. It's a touchdown. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Justin Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Justin Tucker to kick off for Baltimore. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? We On first and ten, it's Jackson. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Oh, and dang. all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Complete to Willie, Willie Sneed. Sneed. 77 yards. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Well, that's a heck of a response to regain the lead after we had seen the touchdown to tie the game. I would say what we just saw there was a great amount of poise because typically when teams Justin tie the Tucker game up, it's a little bit of a, point. how would you say, you kind of kind of take a step back and have to get yourself regrouped. They regrouped in a hurry, didn't they? They attacked back after they'd been tied. And in a big way, that was a statement long touchdown. Tucker with the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead.